So we're gonna this we're gonna uh, start where we left off. Um, TikTok is censoring me, but that's fine. I don't really use TikTok for views. I just use it as a way to get some really good videos because I like the editing and then I spread it on other platforms, you know what I mean? But um, this document shows here. It says, leaked documents reportedly show the CIA secretly bought an encryption company and used it to spy on clients while turning a profit. So, the CIA secretly brought a Swiss company that sold encrypted devices and rigged them to spy on clients. Um, this is, um, the company Crypto AG sold gadgets and softwares to spies, diplomats, military officials, and private companies for decades. So if they're doing this to these companies and this is all there, why are they not doing it to regular citizens? They did it to military people all over the world. Why are they not going to do it to regular citizens? And also Google is definitely a part of this. This, I had Google, um, gang stalking 2022, I think. And it brought me to this site here. Um, gang stalking lawyers. Support lawyer, lawyers 2.me, blah, 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 whatever. And I click on it and Apple says, oh, you have your, your phone has a virus or whatever. So what Google does is whenever people put in certain searches, specifically gang stalking, because it's about the fourth time this happened, they have like dummy um, search sites. Um, and you click on it and it's like a fake site or some sort of virus thing. My shit is already virused up and fucking hacked up by who knows who. So, I mean, you can't get any more hacked than this, right? Whatever. But this article came out this year, January 20, 2022. So, I know you know that there was a governor that was, there was a plot to kidnap this governor and kill them this year, this millennium. These gang stalkers... Again, I contacted the FBI about gang stalking and they hung up on me. Hiding the ball. The FBI web scrubs the evidence of a shadow company owned by sketchy FBI agent Jason Chambers and an InfraGuard agent. So here's, I'm going to read some parts of the article. So they profile people, intimidate you, harass you, isolate you. They begin mind games and all kinds of online stuff and offline until the guy becomes radicalized so like i said they do this to a lot of these events that have been happening it's it's them using voice to skull technology on citizens these motherfuckers are cheap bastards they have done this many times don't forget that back in the days they did the tuskegee experiments on people for free 